Right, hello boys and girls, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon or good evening, whatever time you're watching this. I'm joined with uh, a great British manufacturer, which I always mention, of course, is my mate Graham from BHI. Hello everybody, uh, <laughs> there you are. Uh, I don't even really know what time of day it is, Martin. No, neither have I, I've got no idea what time of the day it is. Obviously, first of all, I hope you're all keeping safe out there and... Um, um, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm keeping hello. safe. You don't Please. mind if I put that on while I talk to you? Uh, look at that, look at that. I've actually got one of those. I've just been out. I've been out um, I've been out four times in the last six weeks, uh, and all four have been to a chemist, which you believe, to get stuff. Anyway, let's not talk about that. No, right, no. So, Graham from BHI has been manufacturing now for how many years? It's your... 18th year, this April. 18 years in business. 18 years, that's amazing. That's a hell of a long time, especially being in manufacturing. It's... Um, Believe me, it's a walk in the park retailing. Manufacturing, I used to be in 35 years ago and 45 years ago, and that really is hard work because you're waiting to make that, that yeah. piece of kit, and then one little component stops you making it, and everything stops, and um, you've got customers moaning and distributors, and so believe me, manufacturing is not easy. I've done it, and I um, that was the start of me here for oh, yeah. manufacturing, not retail. I must be doing something right. Yeah, yeah, quite. So, like, listen, uh, I think what we should really talk about first is your uh, para-EQ, to be honest. Uh, I know you've been developed, you developed that over God knows how long, um, and they are very, very popular. They're also very small. We've actually got one there, Graham, to show um, our, how? our view. Oh, there it is. Here's right. one I prepared earlier. Well, listen, I'm not going to talk about it. Graham's going to give you a couple of minutes on why. So I know it's so good because when we sell these, I get emails back from customers saying, can't believe how good the audio is. And the DSP, there are four different versions, which Graham will go uh, through with you now. But over to Graham. Okay. So this is our Para Pro EQ20 range. It basically is uh, uh, an equalization unit with parametric equalization. For those laymen, I'll give you a brief scenario. You have normal tone control, which is bass treble, a broad spectrum. And then you have graphic equalizer, which is a set of controls giving you a range of uh, frequencies that you can boost or attenuate. With a parametric equalizer, you can basically uh, adjust any set frequency. Now on the unit, you'll see you've got bass, treble, and although they're marks, they're pretty accurate. So you've got 100 hertz to 1K on the bass, and then you've got 1K to 10K, on the treble so effectively if you know you've got some hearing loss about 1k which i do have you can adjust the frequency of this to boost that specific frequency now in amateur radio it may be uh, a situation where you're listening to some speech but there's an annoying tone that's very close to the speech now what you can do with this parametric equalizer is you can actually set that just away from the speech and then actually attenuate the, the um, tone so and boost the speech. So you don't even have to use the noise cancellation. Um, now we have four different versions, as Martin said. So this one here is the EQ20 DSP, which has our unique noise cancelling inside. What I mean by unique is our system effectively extracts the speech so that you decide how much noise you remove from the speech through the audio passband. Uh, we don't have any gimmicks or gadgets like um, bandpass filtering. It's across the whole audio filtering. Um, the parametric obviously gives you the boost. Now, there is another version which you can see there's four LEDs. Now, on there is the Bluetooth. So when you press the function, if you've got one with the Bluetooth in, it enables you to use the input side of this device, the Bluetooth. Now, where I use it is not so much for amateur radio. It's, it's more for Amazon or iPods. Mm -hmm. So I can actually Bluetooth the music and have really good sounds. But I do know that Icom and Yesu do do some radios with Bluetooth on the input. They do. So effectively, they do. Um, I know the reviewer of this device from a couple of years ago from Radcom actually did that. He had a laptop, Bluetooth to the unit, and then just had a pair of headphones in the front, so hardly any wires. <laughs> um, and as, as Martin said, it's selling really well. We've had some great reviews, not only in Radcom, but also in QSP in America. Here's the one without the DSP ah, noise cancelling. Yeah. So you can see there's a button missing. So effectively, if you're in an area where you haven't got a lot of noise, but you still want to boost your audio because your hearing's rubbish, you can just use one of these and use it in line with your existing BHI DSP, of course, or you can just use it with the radio. Um, 
Now, on the back of all the units, you've got outputs for speakers. Now, it's designed for passive speakers. So uh, we, 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 we don't skimp on anything. What you get with this thing is a complete kit apart. So you get the banana plugs, you get the phono jacks, you get all the audio leads, you get everything in the box you need, uh, and a fused DC lead. Now, if you're one of these people that's got a receiver and don't have a bench power supply, we've now got ourselves a nice uh, mains a worldwide power supply that you can buy to go with it. So uh, you can just use that if you buy it and you're only listening. Um, the other gadget we've just developed from feedback from customers, of course, is modern electronics has a class D amplifier in now. What that means is you can't ground the two se separate sides. Otherwise, you'll damage the audio. So what we found was customers were asking us, oh, can I plug my power speakers in? Uh, and at the time, we said, well, no, you can't. But what we've done is we've developed a little box called the line level converter. So if you've got a nice, decent pair of amp amplified speakers or an amplifier, you can stick this in the phono connectors here at the back. And then you stick the power speakers in the output of the line level converter. And hey, presto, you can then use your power speakers with the BHI uh, Para Pro range. Um, over to you, Martin. Right, I mean, yes, um, great detail as always from Graham because he designs it, so he does really know it inside out. I said to Graham, don't go on for hours because I know you can because you're, oh, yeah, mega, okay. you're me he's mega enthusiastic about his yeah. products, as indeed I am from a sales point of view. So the, the uh, Para EQ is available uh, from us or indeed Graham. So if you uh, literally just go to our search bar uh, on our uh, website uh, and, and type in para, P-A-R-A, -A, you'll see uh, para EQ at the very, very top. Click on that and um, you'll see the drop down menu, uh, which under in stock, because yes, they are in stock. Yeah. And then you can choose which one you prefer. Um, or which one's the correct one for you. Um, at the moment, it's showing um, a couple are out, but probably by the time this video is up, if Graham managed to get my little order off today. They're on the way. <laughs> they're, 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 they're on the way for you. They all seem to be working. I am, um, as far as this market goes, we're a very small company. If anyone has any questions about the Parapro EQ, uh, uh, its use, then just drop me an email uh, via our contact page on the BHI website more than happy to yeah that's well that, that's always that's you know that's great and that's what you often don't get with with other um com com companies in other countries you do but some of them you don't right now the next one i'm really excited about because i've been selling um a certain speaker from graham for many many years long before the para eq came out and a lot of his other products and i think about a year ago he told me it was all very top secret we're developing this and improving this and he said i can't really say what it is i sort of guessed i thought well, i wonder if he's updating the bhi nes 10 uh, dash two and yep. sure enough he does because there it is uh, yep. that is uh, the piece of kit at least that's a box i know graham's going to suddenly appear with one in a moment <clears throat> and again like uh, a lot of his products um instructions nice clear english i'm pleased to say um and customer feedback form very yeah. important too which is nice um inside a carefully packaged piece of kit yeah. so it's a bit of a mad unboxing episode i know brand can yeah. say well, there's the lead dc lead and again if you haven't got a dc power supply in your shack it even bothers look tin in the ends oh look i was just going to say he even bothers tin in the ends. Now, not everybody does that, but Graham does, and it's a fuse lead. It's not some dodgy old bit of DC cord with a plug on it. He actually bothers putting a fuse in there. Uh, and, of course, you have the product, <coughs> and which Graham's going to show you, but there it is. Brand new one. No, you never know. Oh, and also, um, you get these little um, feet and various other bits, which Graham's going to describe to you. But... Um, you won't people say to me so so why would you buy one of these at 119 pounds i think they are 1995 when there's all this dsp audio processing and everything else inside rigs well you're absolutely right um but every time i plug one of these into one of our radios whether it's a 100 pound or 50 pound handheld transceiver or indeed a four and a half thousand pound base station radio it's very obvious that there's a lot of thought and design gone into this and with that over to graham Okay, well, it's funny, Martin. It's 119.95, and people are sort of saying, "Well, that's a lot of money." Do you know what? 
when we first launched it in 2002, 18 oh. years ago, it was 99.95. There you go. So there's not a huge increase if you no. take inflation over 18 years. No. Um, to keep, so we always maintain to try and keep the price right for the market. Uh, with what's gone on in the last year, there was nothing we could do uh, but put up a little bit of price just to carry on, you know, and, and keep it as low as we can. So this little box, we took on board a lot of feedback. So there's no fiddly switch at the bottom for power. No, that's gone. On the top, you have off, on, and DSP, three positions. Now, um, it's got our latest DSP noise cancelling technology, which has a powerful, powerful audio processing system inside. Um, now, the other difference also is this little button here is, is actually a volume adjust. Now, the way it's been designed, very briefly, is that when you turn this on, it's a, it's a passive speaker. It's only uh, when you turn the power on that you get the amplifier working. And what you don't want is when you go from off, which is passive, to on, you don't want it to blow mm -hmm. your head. So we set them at a one-to-one. -one. But if you, the customer, want to adjust the audio, you can, up to five watts. So there's a volume there. And that's loud. Yeah. That uh, there's really a separate well. um, headphone jack that you can drive another speaker if you want. And then the filters at the back, you've got the little, uh, Martin was showing you the little bag, there's a little grey knob that you press fit into here. You line the arrow up with the mark, and then there's your filter levels. And it's almost, as we've done for 18 years, plug and go. Plug the audio in, plug your 12 volts in, and then you can enjoy your radio more without all that hiss and annoying hash. Um, and they, and they, yeah, well, you've, you've improved it by getting rid of the fiddly little switches and things, so... Uh, they really do. One well, subtle thing, Martin, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, go ahead. Over the years, the older DSP, one of the things that people did notice, and more audio files, is there was like a beating noise. If you yeah. listen with no sound, there was like a... Duh, 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 duh. That was nothing we could do about that. That was the audio processor. When you listen to a signal, you couldn't hear it. With the newer DSP technology, it doesn't do that. It's, it's clear, it's quiet. You can sit there on your bench, wait for a signal to come in. You've got nothing, you know, irritating you. Uh, except the person you might be listening to on the other end. Um, uh, yeah. Graham, I mean, it, you know, it, it is a good product. We do sell lots of them. 119.95 in stock. Uh, shipping uh, within a day or two. I'm not going to promise same day shipping because, believe me, that's quite difficult these days. When we've only got three people working in a store that normally has 18. Mm -hmm. um, but hopefully, as the uh, days and weeks and months maybe progress through this uh, COVID-19. Uh, that'll improve, but I'm pleased to say all the packages are arriving, and we do ship Graham's kit as you do everybody's all over the world, not just the UK. I get orders left, right, and centre from everywhere. Um, as a result of that um, Radcom review that mm. came out this May, we've had a run on the speakers. I think you had my last uh, delivery. I've got stock coming in in less than two weeks. Uh, I would suggest that if customers really you know want to get one, I'd get it on back order because. You know, the moment they come in, they're going to go out, and then you. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just going to mention that. Great, Graham is right. Yes, uh, Radcom this month. There's Radcom, uh, which is I think May issue. Is that right? Is that May? Yeah, yeah May 2020. Even though we're there, we go. Oh, there you go. Let's see. It's all organised, and there is a double page feature on um, BHI's latest NES 10-2 Mark IV. So if you have got Radcom, have a read, uh, and. Um, go ahead and buy if you wish but it, it is a great piece of kit right graham that's it it's tea time for you and me isn't it, is, it? Yeah, so, yeah. so i'm gonna i'm gonna let love you and leave you i'll let my youngest son henry edit this lot and get it up uh, on uh, youtube it'll be uh, contained in the summing for the weekend which you'll all be sent out the email on uh, friday yep. uh, as you know as we do every week and, and the other little snippets as well that we've got to graham Thank you ever so much for your help. If you want to get the order in for either of those products, the BHI NES 10 especially, look at our website. You can order it, and then I think it's not next week, the week after, they can start dribbling through, aren't they? Is that right? I think 11th of May. 11th of May. Yeah, so it's going to be 11th of May-ish. Yeah, so please get your orders in. We'd be love to send one to you, and we have to support the British companies without question. Yeah, it's been a struggle, but we're going there. So stay safe, everyone. Cheers. All the best from both of us. Ta-ra.